Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a real quick video today kind of uh, showing you how to format um, in FAT32 um, on Arch Linux. Um, really easy to do, but before we get started on it, you know, I want to double check my address of the, of the partition. I, what I'm going to be doing is, is formatting an SD card that I've got plugged into my USB port right here, so um, always a good idea to double check. So I'm going to sudo fdisk dash L, which will list off my disks. Get my password put in here. And it looks here like, yeah, I've got SDB up there, which is one of my hard drives. Here's SDA is the other one. Well, here it is. And the, how I know that is that it's an 8 gigabyte, and this says 7.4, but it's an 8 gigabyte um, hard, or a SD card, rather. So, SDC1 is the, the drive part technically drive partition um, that I'm going to be formatting. So the the command for it's very simple. Um, it's MK DOS FS is what it is. But if you don't if you're not able to do this, maybe I should show that to you first. Let me do sudo pacman dash ca capital S and this is just a search. Um, if you're not familiar with how to use Pacman refer to my video Pac-Man 101 for beginners, right? Um, I believe it's DOS FS Tools. Yeah, see it says right here. And you know, if you do if you do a search, just like I did up here, um, check to make sure it says installed. And if it's not, then go ahead and install it. And of course that'd be sudo Pac-Man dash capital S DOS FS Tools. Just remove this to do the install remove the, the lowercase s there. So, in any case, um, the command, and of course you have to give permissions, so it's sudo, and the command is mkdosfs, uh, space capital F, 32, and some people like to do this, you know, they'll put in this this uh, capital I switch, I'm not even exactly sure what that's, what that's used for, I don't do it. So what I'll do is I'll type in the correct address, which is dev sdc1, hit enter, and there it goes. You can see it's 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 formatting in, in uh, FAT, MKFS right here, um, and it's done. So from here, you know, I should be able to, at this point, come over here and click on that, and there. Um, it ought to be... All ready to go. I can probably go ahead and and create a folder. You know, click OK. Yeah, it's it's let me read and write to it, so we're in good shape. I'm going to Shift Delete and just get rid of that. Okay, because I just want it empty. Um, one of the reasons, and and you might ask why why you know FAT32 when you could put it in X4. Um, you can do X4 or X3 or whatever, um, but that's Linux and Windows cannot read that file system. But Windows can read FAT32 and Linux can read FAT32. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I recommend, you know, for, especially for removable media, you know, it, it it really comes in handy to be able to, you know, regardless of which operating system you, you might be um, loading up or if you happen to, you know, like a thumb drive or something like that, where you, you maybe you slap some pictures on, you know, you want to be able to show your family, but let's say your family's not running Linux. Um, they're running, you know, Windows most likely. So, or even, if I'm not mistaken, I think I think uh, Macs can also read uh, flat, FAT32. So, it, it makes it kind of nice. You can put those those files on those uh, on that drive that you've put in FAT32, and, and it doesn't matter what operating system, it's probably going to be able to read it. Um, it's just m a much more universal uh, file system, so that's why I recommend using it. And given that, like on my computer, you know, I run, you know, obviously Arch Linux, but I also run, um, I dual boot, I have Windows on another partition. Um, so regardless of what operating system I'm running, I can still have access to anything I put on this SD card, which is kind of nice. Um, so with that, I'm, like I said, real short video today, and I just wanted to uh, to share that with you. It's, it's probably a common problem, you know. People try to figure out how to do it, and then you got to look it up, and 
well this way you can you know just bookmark this video and you can always come back as a reference anywho I'm gonna go ahead and end the video thanks a lot for watching please like and subscribe and if you guys run across anything you know no matter how silly it might seem to you shoot me a message and let me know and I'll I'll uh, do my best to get a video put up because um, like I said my channel is is really meant to be a reference you know to, to go back and look at it again if you need to so with that thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for future videos